My name is Janice Farriott and this is my new book, The Nine Chambered Heart, which is out in November. Um, I think I was really keen at that point when I started to write it um, to write something different, um, to look at structure in a different way, to kind of play around with voice, um, to some, somehow turn the eye of love inside out. Um, a more personal reason was because I was at the end of, 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 of a relationship that I thought would go on for a very long time and um, I was walking around in London with this person um, and thinking to myself, what happened? How did I get here? How did this happen? And that made me think about um, our biographies of love um, and how we go from relationship to relationship and that in itself is a biography of our life and I think that really um, set something going um, at the beginning for me. Um, so I think with um, Boats on Land which was my first book um, it was a collection of stories that was very deeply rooted to place. Um, there was a very strong geographical anchoring to all the stories um, in the book. Um, and similarly so with, with Seahorse, um, set between sort of North Delhi, Delhi University and London. Um, so I think these two books actually had a very, very strong um, geographical um, identity. Um, but with The Nine Chambered Heart, it's quite possibly on the opposite end of the spectrum. That is a good question. Um, I think I was interested um, in exploring how we have um, stories about the people that we know in our lives. Um, we tell ourselves these stories about other people that we encounter, that we love, that we sort of make a part of our lives. And I think I was interested in examining or exploring how if you place all of these stories together, perhaps you might get a sense of what this one person is like. Um, of course the point is that we never quite entirely know somebody, even if we've spent all our lives with them, we never quite know them entirely. Um, and so through all of these different relationships you see that, you sense that, um, you see how um, they are with each other or they love each other. Um, because they're at a particular place in life. I think what might be different about this little book is that um, a lot of stories, well, a lot of love stories are intensely focused on the point of view of, of the beloved, um, the one, you know, who does the loving, the one who um, is sort of um, sending forth all of this emotion um, towards another person and I think um, with the nine chambered heart it's it's the other way around that the, the beloved is silent and you kind of fill her in um, yourself um, and it's a space that's um, quite fluid and quite um, um, sort of um, empty in a way and so the reader has has the, the freedom um, to be able to place whoever they might like at the center. And I guess that makes it a story um, about love that kind of you know, works for everyone in a way.